Hello everybody, welcome back to Burnt Church. I hope everybody's having as good a day as we are here. It is beautiful here today. We just had a rain a little while ago, and I thank God for it. So we're going to take a look at this electroculture gardening that we've been trying and see what has changed in one week. It has been a week since we made the first video on this new method of electroculture. So we're going to take a look at it here now and see if anything has changed much. And I've got one surprise that has took place during the last week that I'm really surprised about. And if you'll hang on a few minutes, I'll get over here to it and I'll let you see it. Right now, I wanna show you something in these potatoes and I wanna see if any of y'all know what it is. This stuff right here growing in the potatoes. If anybody knows what that is, put it in the comments below. It's a really good plant to have in your garden. I've got more right here. But we'll have a little fun and see if anybody knows what that is. I want y'all to look how much this corn has grown in one week. The middle row is still smaller than the row on the left. We'll go down through here and look at the electroculture spots and see if they're any bigger than the rest beside of it. So the corn in the middle is still smaller than the corn on the right side up there. Right here is our first electroculture. And I would say that this corn right here and this is on average taller than the corn on each side of it. Now, I don't know if that electroculture is what's caused that. This is the one inch coil right here. We'll go on down the row and look at the half inch coil and see if the corn's any bigger there. And I can tell you right now, right here is the half inch coil right there. This corn here is bigger on average than the corn on the other side of it. It's still not as big as the corn up above it. So I would kind of call this a flop on this part right here. I don't think it's really caused this corn to grow a lot. Let's go look at the green beans. Our potatoes are just about ready to dig here in about another month. Right here is the first coil, that one inch coil. And right over there is the plant we was trying to catch up to. And you can see that these plants right here still are not as big as the plants on down by them. So I can't say that that's really made it grow a lot, not on this one. I've got a surprise. I think y'all will be surprised to see it also. Right here is the half inch coil. And I can't really tell that it's made that plant grow any. We was gonna try to see if we could catch up with that plant right there. This plant is still a lot smaller than that one. So I'm gonna have to say on the corn and on the green beans that I'm not seeing much results. But now again, this has just been one week. We'll go over here and take a look at these tomatoes over here. And this will be the tomatoes that has been planted for about three weeks now. I've got this yardstick for a reason. I'll show you here in a little while what we're gonna do with the yardstick. That tomato's blooming there. So right here is our half inch coil. And I want you to look at the different color of this tomato plant. And this is the one with the electroculture, right here it is. Look at this tomato. It's about the same color as the one right here. And it's within about 18 inches of this electroculture. Now look at this one. The color's different. It's a lot deeper dark color. 
this one's a lot lighter green okay we have put in steel posts right here to put us a fence to tie these tomatoes to i want you to look at the light green color of this tomato that's right here beside this post this post could be acting as an electroculture for this tomato because right over here beside of it same variety of tomato but it's a lot different color I've got one more example right here is our inch and eighth coil and that little tomato plant he is small but now he has grown in the last week but he's still not caught up with these others okay I promised everybody a surprise and we're getting to it right there now and this has really shocked me I can't believe the results of what I'm fixing to show you this here is one of our three week old tomatoes well actually they're older than three weeks but that's how long they've been set out is three weeks and you can see there it's almost 15 inches tall these have been fertilized but they have not been electrocultured. On the last video, I set out two tomato plants up here that I told you I wasn't going to fertilize, that all they were going to be was the electroculture. Let's go up here and take a look at them now. Remember, this one here that I just showed you has been set out here in the garden for about three weeks, and it has been fertilized. This one I'm fixing to show you hasn't been fertilized. This plant here has the electroculture right over here behind it. And it was set out here beside these onions. And it's been in the ground for one week. And it is 14 inches tall. So it's one inch shorter than the one that has been set out for three weeks. Let's go check the other one on down the row. If you remember right, we set two of them out in this row and there was no fertilized. I said there might be some fertilized left here from a crop that I had grown before. Other than that, there's been no fertilized put on these. It's electroculture only. Here's the one with the half inch coil. You can see the coil around over here behind it, right there. I guess you can see it. You can now. This one is about 13 inches tall. So I was surprised whenever I came out here and looked at this. I've been watching them for the last few days and it seems like just within the last two days they've really started taking off. And again, no fertilize, just the electroculture. They have almost caught up with the tomatoes that are three weeks old. And in my opinion, that's doing pretty good. So we're going to keep an eye on these real close. If we can remember, I'll write down the measurements, and in one week from now, we'll see how much they've grown. One of them was 14, and one of them was 13. Well, that's about all I have for you today. I thank you for watching. I pray God blesses you, and I'll see you in the next one. Our onions is starting to look pretty good. Some of them. There's one hid in there under that cabbage.